I'm going to drop this on you. We do a throwback throwdown segment. We normally do a top five, you know, drummer, guitar player, whatnot, but I'll hit you with just maybe a, like a Mount Rushmore of, of underground artists like tech nine, like those guys that you saw doing it, you know, are there, are there four groups, dudes that you could put on Mount Rushmore of kind of the underground uh, hip hop guys that you kind of modeled everything after? Yeah. Tech nine is always going to be at the top of that list. Uh, Side note, Creature Certified Gold featuring Tech Nine and Chris Calico. Uh, Tech Nine to me is big, big underground and kind of paved the way. ICP, obviously, Twisted, guys like that really mm-hmm. were another group of guys that paved the way independently and underground. Not in the old school, but in the new school, I would be remiss if I didn't mention guys like Adam Calhoun and Ryan Upchurch and Tom right. McDonald, who are just literally independent tune core guys who are doing hundreds of millions of streams billions of streams sometimes a year yeah just absolutely crushing their business model i am just elated into that i just just can't get enough of what they do with that you know other guys that that have inspired me in other ways uh I love not saying this because this is a not fest thing, but I love the way Corey has been able to do multiple yeah. bands and build multiple brands and sounds around different things and the way they all talk to each other, but never talk against each other, which I think is insane to be able to do. I was always kind of inspired by that. What I do is different because it's multi genre mm-hmm. where his is kind of down the middle rock, either heavy or light, but right it was still inspiring when you see people be able to pull that off. Like when I seen Yellow Wolf playing Rock on the Range and Tech 9 playing Not Fest. Yeah, I was there for like, that one. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, no, this is cool. This this can this can work. This can this can we can be accepted anywhere as long as the music's good and has a genuine spirit to it. So that's kind of always been my thing. These are guys that just the immediate jump outs that inspire me in different ways. So at Knotfest Iowa, Tech Nine comes out to his Chiefs Kingdom, Red Kingdom song, and they, we're in the middle of Iowa, and there are people with Chiefs flags out there, you know, fl- you know, flying them. What do you got to do to, you know, you need a Titan song where we're in the middle of Iowa, and I, I need to see some Titans flags, man. Yeah, I know, dude. Listen, <laughs> I love it now because I have guys show up in Titans jerseys. Yeah. And I'll be on stage and I'll call them. I'm like, I see you back there. That fucking Tannehill jersey is so cool. <laughs> I just, I don't, I'm afraid to even try to do it. I thought about it. Yeah. I'm just afraid of fucking it up. And I'm not afraid of much, but I'm like, that organization means so much to me. I'd hate to drop the bomb or drop yeah. the ball. Like, Red Kingdom is so good. I tell people, there's guys like, Brent Smith, when I first met him, that's what I told him. And this is how I feel about Tech Nine's song, Red Kingdom, where some guys inspire you to do something and then you mm-hmm. listen to them again and go, oh, maybe not. I don't think I can do it that good. <laughs> that's how I feel about whenever they first asked me to come sing with Brent. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. And I'm like, maybe not. Brent Smith is a singing <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, you know, my joke is, oh, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'll be honest. Like, I, I would be okay to sing a duet with Jason Aldean because mm-hmm. I think I can. He's a good singer, don't? And I'm I'm a good singer, but I think we, could, you know, he wouldn't blow me out of the water. Right. I definitely don't want to sing one with Carrie Underwood. Right. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. there's a moment where you're just like, yeah, I don't think I can sing with you, or like Pink or Demi Lovato or Miley or something. You know, you're like. Luke Combs. You're like, I don't think I want to do a song with Luke Combs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of, I hear Red Kingdom and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I can do that. I think that he he did that in such a cool way. I don't know. I'm scared to death of it. So, Plus, I yeah, want him to love me. I don't want to turn in a bad song and not get field passes again. 